Good morning, lovely people. Happy Sunday morning. I'm Dave Keefe. This is Avernus Biker Lifestyle. And we're off to one of my favourite, if not my favourite, car boots this morning over at Bershke. The very appropriately named Giant Car Boot. Now, as people keep telling me for some strange reason, the size is relative, uh, but it is quite a big one. And today is going to be an awesome day. I have said previously I don't like to prejudge, particularly when it comes to car boots. But I do like to put a positive spin on things and I have got a good feeling about today. A little bit fresh this morning but it is it's getting light and I have every confidence that the sun's going to be out and so are the sellers. So let's get on the road and get over there. I'm sure I'll have it. Thank you very much. Yes. Three pound love. What's your jacket? Three pound love. Sorry. How much is a leather coat? How much is the coat, man? The, the leather. I want a 20 for that, but yeah. I know. Do you mind if I have a look? Yes. Thank sure. you. Cheers, love. It's a long old thing, now, isn't it? Sorry. It's long. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have 15? Take 15 on that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'm not pinching, Ganga. I need my angus. <laughs> Three. Oh, no, I'm sorry, two pound, love. Ten on them. Thanks, love. Cheers. Thanks, love. Great cheers. Thank you. Marcher on these. Day two for the five for them. Do ten for the lot. What do you want, love? Did you do ten for ten for all five? Go on, love, yeah. Do you need a bag, love? Uh, no, I managed to. Yeah. Thanks, love. Thanks, Thanks lovely. Love. Cheers. Have a good day, folks. And you, love. Thank you. Is this you on here? How much you do for them, pal? A pound in. A pound in then, I guess. Three. Three? Yeah. Three. Yeah, no problem at all. So I'm really impressed that you guys have got out of bed. How about if I do four quid for you, I don't think. We are, too, as well. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a pretty sight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet, yeah. So I'm mobilising an army. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Six pounds. Do you want another one? Uh, let's have a look. I'll see if I can find anything. You're doing a really good job, lads. How much is it? Well, I don't know, make five pound. Uh, be three, I'll be at three. Yeah, go on. Right, thank so you. I don't know what I would use it, so oh, it's good right. to go somewhere. And they've got that lens with it, that's, that's another lens. Oh, brilliant, thank you. Let's see if I can uh, find some more stuff. You've got quite a selection. We have, yeah. <laughs> You've got a couple of pairs of binoculars. Yeah. Sounds good to me. Up to so far seven, isn't it? Yeah. And your phone? Three pound. Two. Yeah. Uh, we'll be going home in a minute. Spot the other one. You do two on that one. I do. You do two on that one as well. How about that one? Twelve, isn't it? Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen, there we go. And that? Um, two pounds. I don't know what music's on it. Fifteen. Oh, it could good. be my dad's. It could be some music. <laughs> Is it? Wow, well, he's got a good taste then. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that one. Three pounds. How much is on that love? That one. Yeah. Five of that one. So it's a, it's a black and white one. That one. It's no a charger for it. No, I'm sure I can find one. I've got a Z21. Do you do twenty for cash? 
Thank you. I'm not going to take card though, am I? <laughs> <laughs> I might have seen where your bloody swipe it on. Oh, no, I shouldn't have said that. Have said that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very, very much, much, lovely. Too. Cheers. Have a good day. And you. Must be on your PlayStation, what? <laughs> right? Um, I don't know where all the leads had to be for, but it was up for a fiver, but I'll take probably four quid for it. Four or three quid. It works in everything. I think I might have a spare one at home, you know. Three quid. Uh, three fifty. Yeah, yeah. How about your Xbox? Is. Uh, fiver. <laughs> I'll do both for seven. Ten altogether? Ones. Well, you're all three fifty on that, and yet it rounds it up to ten, and if you're not, yeah. it's fifty p off. Yeah. Good little trolleys, haven't they? Absolutely, yeah. Save my arms on many occasions. <laughs> Have you got any leads for these? Um, I don't want leads are in there, mate. So easy to sell. I don't want leads are in there. Whether there's any of them. The better for subjects. I'll just take a bag of leads and just make use of them. Yeah, nice one. I've got a big bag at home. It's always, it's always <laughs> handy to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Cheers, man. Have a good day. Thank you. Have you got any speaker, Paul? One me. How much is the speaker? What's it worth for tenner? Is it worth for tenner? No, no. five. Five at most, five yeah. Of. There you go. Had it handy. Yeah. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much. Electrical stuff you need? Well, bits and pieces of everything, really. PlayStation 2 there with all the bits and pieces. And a bag there. Controller, a couple of games, five. Still working, yeah. Yeah. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers, man. Have a good day. What's that off, pal? Do you know? No. It's off a bloody big bike. <laughs> big bike. <laughs> I'm thinking maybe more like a rocket, rocket three. It's a big back tire, that's definitely a, a cruiser. How much you well is love? 25. You've been asked that a few times already, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What size are they? 30. How much you got on that, bud? Uh, just a couple of quid back. Cheers, buddy, thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. Now this is a good sign. I've been here 40 minutes and I'm coming back to the car already. And it's looking like today is a console day, unintentionally. How much is your camera? Tada. <coughs> How much are they? Two quid. I do like to be of service. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Two quid a set they are there. Yeah. Binoculars. That's a nice round figure. Not even going to argue with you. Although we have just spotted Darth Vader. He's a bung. He's a bung. He's a bung. Don't we all? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice one, well, thank you, lovely. Yeah, Lockdown trainers, mate. How much have you got in your way? On the way? Just give us a five. Yeah, five is a lot. Yeah, I'll do a five, thank you. Yeah, yeah, just a few, just a few things. Oh, brilliant. Then you might as well take it with the bean bottle. Yeah, that's what I mean. Let's see, yeah, 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 thank you. Yeah. And how much is on your phones? It's four pounds four on the pound. Thank you. you. Let's see if I can find something that go with it. How much is on your ring? Sorry. The, the, um, the big room. one is um, £20 it's got loads of um, bits like yeah. stuff in it yeah yeah and there's loads of wrestlers here um, two for each and there's a little ringy that's a fiver have you got I don't know if you know any um, referees um, the dead stendy out here actually because they've got a strappy shirt on I don't think so I think he'd be only interested in wrestlers no fair enough yeah I don't think he was a boss of referee no. That's not for small, I'm afraid. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Thank you very much. Have a good day, ladies. And you, love. I focal have it. Yeah, focal have it away, won't they? It's, uh, yeah, it's actually covered in there. Yeah, I've seen it, yeah. yeah. 
Basically, any race. Oh, brilliant, yeah. So yeah. Well, when will your upload? From today, probably Tuesday, I would have thought. Tuesday? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the one that you, was it, you put on 10 hours. The, the last one was uh, Norcross from last weekend. Yeah. And that was yeah. yesterday morning, yeah. I think. Yeah. That was a crazy, crazy day, that was. Was it? Let's crack on anyway. Valid, you know? That's it, absolutely. Nice to meet you, Chris. Anyway, thanks, uh, yeah. Car seat, car seat. Car seat, bank seat. How much controllers, Paul? Oh, they're for the, they're for the uh, oh, PlayStation, the... yeah. What have you got on it? We're asking 50, but I don't, I think that, I don't know what the price really is. Oh, yeah, I don't know. How much is your Xbox? Um, 20 quid. Have you got all the cables and that? No, it's literally that. It's a bit of a gamble, isn't it? Good time. I've got 15. It, it generally does work, I'm not like. Yeah, yeah. It, it was my brother's and he got another. 12? Go on, man. Nice one. Cheers, man. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thank you. This is the fella. Yeah. Told us about uh, the Charlie one. Yeah, yeah. Seen How you doing, man? You alright? Not too bad. Something biker. So, Vernish Biker Lifestyle. You don't have to go some distance. Oh, I'd say we got to. It's a full time gig, innit? So. <laughs> yeah, it is. What are your names? Liz, John. John. Hi, Liz. Well, watch out. Probably about Tuesday, I'll get the next, next video out. Make sure you're in it. You star yeah. in Rolf, yeah. <laughs> Did you tell the gentleman about the other fellow we watched? Uh, the Brummery fella? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Brummery fella. Brummery yeah. Yeah, did you say? He's got a bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what comes through in a lot of yeah. a lot of the uh, videos now. People with a bit of a bit of a sense of humour, like yeah, yeah they don't take things right. too seriously. No, <laughs> um, who was he last night? Uh, thingy, Shannon Osborne's husband, Ozzy, Ozzy Osborne, giving up loads. What have you got on that? A couple of quid, three quid. Yeah, Cheers, thank, thank you, you very much. Cheers in it, mate. <laughs> nice to meet you. And you. See, See you later, guys. Have a good day. Is that working that, do you know? Um, I don't know. I suppose you got the remote, have you? No. no. It's worth taking the risk for a quid, isn't it? <laughs> Here you go, bud. Thank Cheers, man. Thanks. How much is a bike? 70. 70. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I don't like to say I told you so. Well, yeah, sometimes I do actually like to say I told you so, but today is a good day. The giant car boot has paid off for me today. Very, very happy, Bonnie. Now I'm tempted to say, I was gonna to go to the Bolton car boot on the way home, I'm tempted to say I won't go, but I'm going to go just for a bit of a mooch because I'm absolutely buzzing with the result from Berska. Take about 30, 40 minutes to get there. Um, usually I bumped into a few subscribers over there as well, so uh, that'd, be, that'd be nice, always is. So let's get on the road. How much is your keyboard? About 20 on that. It's weird to be thinking, but it's still cut. Because I use it. Yeah. Five of that one, that's got a built in answer for on that one. Yeah, yeah. We were watching your video last night, you know, where you went to the charity shop. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was, I go there once a month, actually. It's me and my golden goose is that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Good, yeah. I love it. I, I think, I'm pretty sure I've spent more than that there as well. You got any lids? Hmm? How much are they? This is brand new, 25. 
I got box everything for this one. It's brand new. Yeah. That one was used. How much in your leathers? Sorry? How much are these like? 20. That is her, her size. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 16, is it? Don't, yeah. don't, don't suggest this one. Always is wrong. Yeah. Especially for Akito. Okay. Thank you anyway, mate. Thank you. Cheers. How much do you DVD player? Five, four. Are the other remote free? Any other remote there? Uh, no. No problem. Uh, the three? Yeah, go on then. Thank you. Is that the only Wii game you've got? Uh, yeah, the others have gone. Yeah, no worries. No worries. How much was that for? Well, two points to say five for the pair of Smashing, thank you very there much. You thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too. How much have you got in your jacket? Take 15 for it. Can I have a look at it? Yeah, Costco. Oh, you can jump in, mate. Oh, he's just added a tie. 12? Depends who match, really, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you, anyway. Uh, just a quid, mate. Thank you, mate. Cheers. Cheers, pal. How much are the Wii controllers? All oh, four pound, Alan. Would you do three? Thanks, lovely. Yeah. How much are the boots? Five of them, mate. What size are they? Size nine, them. Got the pants to them as well. Yeah, there. Yeah, right. What's on that? So I want 30 quid for the pants and the jacket. Yeah. Court as well. Could do 20 on the seat. Yeah, do that, yeah. 20. 25. Nice one, mate. Cheers, man. Belting. Nice one, mate. Thank you very much, sir. Have a Cheers, good day. Mate. Thank you. We've got to ask how much we got in your lid. On oh, no. that, 20 quid, though, mate. It's always a pleasure when people look after their gear. <laughs> the reason why I'm selling it all is I had spinal surgery uh, in the box in the restaurant. Yeah. So I can't ride and also I'm to sell so that's the reason why I'm selling it. But I bet that's the most painful part of it, isn't it? I've been able to ride. Yeah, but it's one of them where I'm alright going like short journeys, but then when, if you go for a long distance. Yeah. So but I always look after all the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Have a good day anyway, guys. All the best to you. How much have you got in your bowls? 20. I'm sure I could find an item. Of course, more than happy with the last record player I bought off you. Oh, I remember that, yeah. yeah. That one I saw on YouTube. All right. I've seen it on YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah. I was famous for 14 minutes of it. <laughs> yeah, I think I've overpriced it for sale, but... Yeah, that's what it is. He knows that's nothing your, of invention, not that. Your business, yeah. Oh, it's funny. It's yeah. funny, because I was testing it, and it needs servicing, but I didn't really want to be asked to do it myself. Yeah. Everything works fine. Yeah. Yeah. It's just the tape, honestly, listening to the yeah. Barry White, um, yeah. Elton John crossover thing, <laughs> just tickle me. Cheers, buddy. I'll see you again. It's a kill a lot. It's a kill a lot. Kill a lot. Yeah, it's from Robot Wars. Yeah, yeah. It says on the bottom. Okay. I have exercised the demons. <laughs> I think
think the heat wave is getting to my brain. What a great result today. Over three trolley loads. The very warm weather has obviously brought all the sellers out. Lots and lots of decent pickups. So let's get all this stuff home and see what we've got. Now I'm pretty confident it's not just me that thinks this. There's very few things better than when you get back in from a morning car booting than just having a bit of a nap. <laughs> So my batteries feel fully recharged now. Now today has been an exceptionally good day at the office. Total spend today is £180 and for that I picked up 42 items. Now for those of you that aren't familiar with my videos, uh, rather than give you individual prices paid for items, I tell you how much I spent in total and how many items I picked up for that. Reason for that being obviously the prices you pay at car boot sales are very subjective. Uh, it all depends on how lucky you get, uh, how good you negotiate negotiation skills are and whatever happens on the day basically so that's the reason to do that and also for budget purposes it's a lot simpler to work it out like that as well if you're doing your summing up on a trip to trip basis it's a lot simpler to get a good overall view of how you're progressing now as you can imagine for 42 items it's quite a bit to go through so pause this video go make yourself a brew and get back here double quick and we'll crack on Damn, this is a lot of stuff. Well, this is, these are the total pickups from both uh, Bershka this morning, the Giant Car Boot, and Bolton at the Macron Stadium. So in no particular order. First up, pair of motorcycle boots. These are in pretty good condition, aside from uh, one of the ankle armour is missing, probably snapped off. It doesn't really affect the boots, to be honest. I mean, obviously it offers some protection, but um, it's more of a, an aesthetic part. Uh, these aren't the, really, they're not the top of the range boots, they're not the bottom, they're sort of like mid-range, the, the brand is Sparda, S-P-A-D-A, -A. size 9, and the listing value I've put on those is £30. When you're checking out boots, I'm stating the obvious, make no apologies, because you, you know what you know, is always make sure you check the zips, very often go knackered, get missing teeth and all the rest of it, so that's your first go-to, uh, check the zips. Also, boots like this are quite often stored in garages and sheds, so just check inside for any signs of nastiness. Next up, it's a bit of a fail this actually, uh, got a bit carried away because these boots, obviously ski boots, female, the brand is Rossignol and this is a diva, I think these are more of a, a lady boot. Not very much in the way of comps on these but the comps that there are are all over the place. As far as ski boots are concerned, Rossignol is quite a well-known brand but unless you're looking at the boots that actually snap into skis which can fetch ridiculous amounts of money, there's not much in the way of evidence uh, to support the value of these so it's a bit of a fail on my part but because they've barely been worn i'm going to put a listing value on these of 20 pound there's a very good chance i'll be sat on these for quite a while as well but to pull it back quite nicely the bag was included you'll recognize the brand it's featured in a recent video head makers of sports bags of all manner of descriptions so i'm going to sell the boots and the bag separately and the listing value i've put on the bag is 15 pound Next up, a compact Sony Blu-ray player. Sold quite a few of this type of player uh, just recently. Sony's obviously a, a brilliant brand. If you're looking at the, the Sony and the LG particularly, perhaps the Samsung, but, but not so much. But uh, particularly these high-end brands, the Blu-ray player and particularly the compact ones uh, sell very, very well. Now this is gonna be worth me sourcing a remote with it for what I paid for it because it was very, very little. The model on it is the Sony Blu-ray and it's BDP-S185 but really any Blu-ray player uh, again particularly the higher-end brands of this nature are good sellers well worth me sourcing a remote even if it's sort of like an aftermarket remote listing value on this £35 now this next device is an amplifier for a bigger sound system I think there's only two decks to this particular sound system and the brand is Sandstrom S-A-N-D-S-T-R-O-M it's a good solid substantial item really this may well turn out to be a fail because this is how i bought the unit on its own no remote no speakers no nothing else it's quite a unique connection that's um, the connection that will obviously connect this unit to the other 
item in the stack, which is probably the, the head control unit. Now, if it was complete, even just with the top deck and not even necessarily with the speakers, you're still, you're looking at 80 to a hundred pound. But because I'm gonna have to sell this on its own, I'll put a listing value of 25 pound on it. Something that's come down a lot since uh, the lockdown restrictions have been lifted is the Wii console bundles. If ever, if, if at all possible, I like to bundle it with a Wii Fit board because it tends to fetch a higher price. But whereas during lockdown, you're looking at a listing value of around about the £150 mark uh, for this bundle with a Wii Fit board. Now you're probably looking at around about the £70 mark. So that's entirely what I'm going to list it for, is £70. The original Xbox bundle, this is a heavy, heavy old unit is this. Uh, it comes with its lead and because of the charity shop pickup that I featured in the £500 spend in a charity shop video uh, just recently, I've got a load of games that I can bundle with this just to increase the listing value. So the listing value I've put on that is £60. Next up, some standard game pickups. Try on my nose, always a safe bet. I mean, this is these are bread and butter type values. If you were watching the last video, the last time I picked up this kind of game, I mentioned the difference in the tiles. That last one was a little bit cheaper looking, cheap enough looking. These are the more quality ones and that is the brass stud in the middle that I mentioned. Really good condition, even the box shows little wear. So for that, standard Scrabble original pickup and Game of Thrones Monopoly. These have been really all from all three from the same seller and they've been really well looked after. So listing value I'm putting on these is £10 each. Now unintentionally it's been a bit of a console pickup day today. Next up we've got a PS2 Slim, a couple of controllers, a few games. I may have some more games I can bundle with it as well just to increase the listing value. Got all its cables. Listing value I've put on the PS2 Slim is £50 and under it you'll notice an Xbox One. It didn't come with any cables this but it, the power cable is just a standard figure of eight power cable and obviously the, it's HDMI connection. So it just came the unit with the unit on its own but later at the same boot sale, I found an aftermarket Xbox One controller. So that'll go with it, or at least it'll allow me to test it. Now I know I've got the cables to make that complete, but it all depends on the size of the, size of the hard drive that's in it. The chap I was speaking to didn't know. The casing does look a little bit tired, to be honest. And obviously it's a little bit gungy. It made me a bit nervous about picking it up, if I'm honest, but it was worth the risk for what I paid. Like I said, I don't tend to mention how much I pay for individual items, but it's relevant in this case. I only paid 12 quid for the Xbox One. So it is well worth taking the punt on it because the listing value, depending on the hard drive size, will be between one and 200 pound. Now these have always been really safe pickups for me. In fact, today I've sold a, a car security device, like a bar that connects the handbrake to the gear stick. I bought this actually off, off a couple of subscribers that uh, had a, a stall at a boot sale today. I'll have to refer back to the video to remember the names because I'm shocking my names. But these are a good standard, solid standard pickup. They're a bit heavier, so it's probably going to tip over the two kilo mark as far as postage is concerned. But the listing value I'm putting on this is £20. I took a bit of a gamble on this controller. Obviously an Xbox three. 60 wireless controller which uh, are a safe bet. Strangely the white ones seem to sell better than the black ones. Uh, I don't know I don't know why but uh, the white ones I've had have always sold through really quickly. Bit of a story with this one. I can't actually get the battery off. I, I don't know why. I paid very very little for it so I'm kind of thinking a couple of things really. Uh, if it char if the battery that's stuck to it won't come off, but it will charge, I could use this as a testing device. But either way, it's worthwhile me putting some effort into getting the battery off to see what's what with it. So I've not lost anything, or in fact, I've not lost anything either way because part uh, spares and repairs these still uh, can go for a few quid. But the listing value, assuming it's working upon this, is fifteen quid. Another bog standard item I've picked up just for testing purposes. Really, it's a duo charging station for Xbox batteries. This isn't. Actually going to get listed on its own. I may well bundle it with one of the Xbox Xboxes that I've got in at the minute or just use it for testing batteries on controllers that I get in. Something I've been picking up a few of just lately. These are three pretty bog standard uh, bird watching binoculars. Actually nothing, nothing exciting about them. Two of them are unbranded and two of them are. The branded ones are Practica and Miranda. For simplicity purposes, what I've done is put a listing value of £12 on each. Another PS2, this time the more standard size one. Uh, it didn't come with any leads this, but I have got a controller, power leads and AV lead to go with that, definitely, in my 
storeroom. Listing value I've put on that is £45. Now this Sony dock is one I've had before. It was a new one in a box. So I know they sell. I think it was a bit more long tail that one and it was brand new. But aside from needing a wipe down, this dock's in really good condition. Comes with this remote as well, which is a great selling point. Listing value I've put on that is £20. Next, an item that was an absolute steal obviously assuming it's working is a goodman's vhs player it's, it's just a bog standard thing that looks like it needs a good bit of a wipe down these can quite often be just knackered to be honest but for the pound i paid for it i was well happy to take the risk so assuming it's working this goodman's vhs plus video player is going to have a listing value of 25 pound another xbox 360s again 250 gig hard drive and i'm gonna to have to source a power cable for this but i'm not really too fussed about that because even if it's completely knackered and doesn't work then i'll have the power cable for a future expedition so there'll be no loss there but assuming it's all working and hunky dory again i'm going to bundle some games with this and i've actually a couple of controllers now including the one that uh, needs the battery prizing off that I can bundle with this as well so when it's all, when the bundle's all complete the listing value of putting it is 60 pound now just at the back there i won't dig it out but it's, it's uh, a folding sun lounger something i've only just recently found out about really uh, because often these are they're sold quite cheap Deeply. I've got um, a pair listed, a matching pair listed at the minute for I think around about the £115 mark. You may have noticed in the video earlier when I was picking this up and doing the deal that it has got a bit of an arse print on it, uh, some kind of weird stain going on there. So I will make my best effort to, to clean it up but even in the condition that it's in, aside from it being a little bit grubby and needing a good scrub down, it's in good condition. There's no frays or tears, there's no significant rust, there's a couple of very light spots here and there but the listing value of part on that is 50 pound now next up i think one of the subscribers i bumped in earlier was saying these were for me but they're not really my color <laughs> i picked them up because i think they look really cool i think they'll, they'll sell well they've actually got a bit of a converse vibe to them i suppose they feel like a, a canvas they, they actually feel pretty well made and aside from needing a wipe down they're in pretty good condition as well there's something about them that told me that these are going to sell well because i think they'll look really great in the pictures but i'm going to see where i end up with them as far as listing value is concerned so i've not i'm not going to include them in the grand total they appear to be a size seven but if any of you lovely subscribers if these are floating your boat then um hit me up in the comments i mean i might have been tempted but i'm a size eight so even <laughs> A new to me brand today, Sandy Gloves. These are for Muay Thai, obviously suitable for a lot of martial arts as well, actually. They look in very, very, very good condition. I'd even go so far as to say these could be listed as new without tags. Listing value on those is not a great deal of precedent on them, if I'm honest. There is for full boxing gloves. So what I've done is put a listing value of these of £20. More cameras add into my collection now. This is a, a Zenit. 12 xp so a film camera pretty nice condition what i've done for this one is priced it for the camera body only and ignored the fact there's a helios lens on it which will add to the value now we're not taking the talking the most fantastic of figures for, for the camera but the listing value i've put on it is 20 pound but with the zenit camera just to add a little bit of gravy was this helios teleconverter again i've not added this in the in the total in the grand totals i've not actually looked into it either but usually this kind of thing will go for around about the 10 to 15 pound mark a bit more of a bread and butter kind of pickup a samsung dvd writer obviously external a listing value on the dvd writer 12 quid haven't seen one of these for a while ipod nano it's uh, older obviously a much older device it's an 8 gig nano this one listing value of put on it is 25 pound i haven't actually seen one of these before but i recognize the brand the brand is san sandisk more synonymous with flash drives and the like but this mp4 player again i've put a value of 25 pound on that an older kindle now this is the d0110 that's the model there's been a few variants still but even though this is older tech compared to some of the new uh, kindle fire hd and all that kind of stuff the more stereotypical tablets there's still a big market for the paper white versions now, i've got a charger that can go with this it's in pretty good nick actually because it's uh, spent its life in the case by the looks of it and again the, the listening value of put on this is 20 to 25 pound now this 
12 inch record player from Ion. It's in really nice condition. There's really very little in the way of wear to it. No damage or anything like that. Of every confidence that this is in excellent working order. Listing value upon that is £30. Another bread and butter pickup. This is uh, only a single handset unit for this. Uh, Panasonic telephone answering machine. It's one of the KX models which are a pretty standard nothing to write home about nothing special kind of phone set but obviously panasonic's a well-known brand listing value on that uh, 15 pound an item that i probably wouldn't have looked at if it wasn't for george ross trackball mouse this one is by logitech so thanks very much for the heads up on on this one george this trackball mouse usb listing value 20 pound now I picked this up on a whim really because a while ago I, I landed on a load of Spanish language courses on CD in a similar kind of package. I'm not entirely sure if it was by the same uh, publishers which in this case is Caxton Editions but I did really well off them so I just picked this up check the discs, check they're all there and the manual is there and just chucked it in the trolley without checking the comps on it. But it was a reasonably safe, I mean nothing special, but a reasonably safe result. Listing value on this, £12. Not entirely sure why I check these. It's probably under the category of checking things that, just for the sake of checking things to see what kind of value they are, which I would recommend everybody do. It's a good way of stepping outside your comfort zone and it's a really good way of finding out items of decent value that you wouldn't necessarily already know about. Now clearly I wouldn't have touched these if they'd have been opened or the seals have been broken, but these Sudacrem antiseptic healing creams, the 400 gram these. I bought them all together but I've I'm going to separate them for listing purposes into two lots, a three and a two. The three pack is going to be listed for £18 and the two pack is going to be listed for £12. Some more binoculars. These are branded. Tasco, Tasco they feel a little bit cheaper than uh, some of the black rubbery kind of ones but, the, but because they're branded they were easier to to check comps on listing value on those 15 pound this was another fail actually it kind of makes me contradict myself as far as higher megapixel digital cameras are concerned because this lumix the model is the dmc s1 isn't worth very much at all typically anything over 10 megapixels i'm getting 20 to 30 pound for but in this case this particular model even though it's got its usb cable and cable Case. we're looking at £10 but just by stark contrast feel free to check the comps on this this is obviously binoculars bird for bird watching and the like this is a Nikon very well known brand the model is Aculon A-C-U-L-O-N I was very surprised about these obviously I knew they were a safe pickup for what I paid for them I knew that they were, they were going to be around about the £15 mark at least but these there's quite a bit of a range in these as far as listing value is concerned. So the range I'm putting on it is 50 to 80 pound. So I should be comfortably expecting 50 pound. I'll be listing it for more from the get go and see where it ends up. But that's one to remember, Nikon Aculon. Another phone system, this is a twin set, more of a generic brand. This is a Binatone, need a bit of a degunge, but they often do. Again, the telephone answering machine. And because it's a twin set, listing value of put on those is 18 pound. Last couple of items now, and this was a massive win this lady's leather coat i call it a, a, for search purposes i used the term matrix leather coat because obviously i think i think that's a fair kind of keyword to be to be searching this kind of garment it's a size large but obviously i'll be putting all the measurements in the listing new with tags it's actually sheep leather as well as opposed to cow i'm not entirely sure what difference that'll make to the price but it is a nice soft leather and because it's new the listing value i've put on this coat is a hundred pounds our last stop today, this set of women's leathers, two piece from Frank Thomas. They look like they've had hardly anywhere at all. Maybe, I mean, it's just a little bit of mud on them, but that could quite easily have been caused by chucking it in the boot of the car to bring it to the car boot. But aside from that, these are in pristine condition. Got all their armor in, they smell new as well. A little bit of a sad story, but it always, I mean, obviously because of, because of the nature of riding bikes, sometimes if you have a spill, it can be really, really serious. But in this case, the, the guy that I bought the boots off as well, the Sparta boot, he said he's had he had an accident and the re, he's had to give up riding his bike because of a back injury and because he stopped riding his missus has stopped going with him so they were selling all the gear and honestly that was the saddest story i've heard in a while i really feel for him because i know that losing that ability to ride your bike for a biker is is just heartbreaking really is but there was a deal to be made and hopefully the money that i gave him for the gear that i bought off him will help him go on holiday or put a smile on his, him and his missus face but because they're in such exceptional condition this two-piece leather suit the value I've put on it, the listing value I've put on it is £70. 
suffering from a severe case of GoPro fod now. <laughs> now I'm absolutely over the moon with the result from today. Uh, like I say, there was a, a few fails in there and I do like, in fact, there's no argument to say, I particularly like to mention the fact that I made cock-ups as well because it's a constant learning experience. I'm all about the realism on this channel and cock-ups are real. Everybody makes them and it's important to make them so you can develop. But the thing I'm sure you're most interested in is the total scores on the doors. Now, like I say, total number of items today I picked up is 42. Total spend was £180. It may have been a couple of quid over, whatever change I had in my pocket kind of thing, but £180 is the total notes I spend. Total gross listing value is £1,210. An exceptional day at the office. <laughs> Now obviously that's a gross figure. There's still eBay fees to come off that. There's still the tax man needs to get his taste. But all those items and the prices that I mentioned for them are gonna be plus postage. And it's a bank holiday weekend. We've still got another day of car booting to go tomorrow. However, I have got this really strong urge to spend tomorrow in a beer garden. It's been a while. Now, because of the scale of the boot sales that I've been to today, there's going to be a lot that I've missed. There's going to be stuff that you've seen in the video that I've completely walked past and blanked. I'm really interested to get some feedback off you guys to, to see if that is the case and you did actually spot anything. I say this in, in pretty much all my boot sale videos because I have got a hunger to learn about new items as well. And I'm always getting two or three messages per video about um, people saying, you missed that at such and such a point in the video. And I always check it out because it can be logged in the back of my mind the next time out and about if I spot those things. So if this, if that is the case with you guys, leave a comment in the comment section below the video. And as always, one thing I do ask is if you can give this video a thumbs up if you've got any value or entertainment from it at all, it really helps the channel. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, smash that subscribe button and the notification bell will give you a notification of next time I post a video up. Thanks very much indeed for the support for this channel, guys. It really is appreciated. And I also really appreciate the people who go out of the way uh, to come up to me and say hello when I'm out and if they spot me out and about the field it's always nice to get some face-to-face -face feedback but it's also nice to know that people are picking up usable tips from these videos i'm just vlogging my own personal journey i never have professed to be an expert by any stretch of the imagination but if my journey is helping somebody out there with theirs then absolutely fantastic thanks very much indeed for watching especially if you made it this far into the video i've been dave keith and i'll see you in the next one bye for now